Howdy y'all, welcome back to Rats Nest Hot Rods. I'm going to do a demonstration of the Benpack MD-6XP 6,000 pound mid-rise scissor lift. I use it a lot in my shop. I've got a 9 foot ceiling. And uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, you're also going to see the uh, item number 61917 from Harbor Freight. It's a 1,250 pound uh, car dolly. Um, one for each uh, wheel and uh, you can basically use them to pick it straight off the floor and move your car sideways. They work great so let's fast forward and uh, these uh, dollies will come up here in a second then we'll do a, a full uh, rundown on the bend pack. Oh, there was a boy in Arkansas who wouldn't listen to his ma when she told him that he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little... I'll slow it down a little bit here and uh, show you how easy it is to uh, move a big car. It works uh, just as well with the, the engine and uh, all the other particulars mounted on the car. It uh, really makes life easy. I don't have a perfect floor. Um, I did do some epoxy work on it, uh, shop epoxy, two-part epoxy, uh, about two years ago, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the flattest thing in the world, but these things uh, seem to handle it really well. I'll speed back up and then uh, cut back in when we get to the bend pack. all right I got everything in double speed so it's not so damn boring but uh, I'm going to take some measurements here. Uh, this is to the, uh, the plates, and that is a solid 48 inches there. Sorry, the uh, tape measure is hard to see. Then you got these uh, little extensions here. I think they're a four inch extension. Yep, four inches. And uh, then this one, it bumps it up another two eight inches. So if you're like lifting a truck, you can get under there. Um, so total uh, measurement there of. 56 inches I believe to the bottoms of those things they give you lots of different accessories that's just the flat right there uh, that's a one and a half inch rise yeah two inch rise you get the point um, so yeah you watch it go up in double speed it takes about a minute probably and goes up really quick with the uh, even with the car on there, going down without a car is uh, extraordinarily slow. I'll have to get up there and put some weight on it, but uh, yeah, wanted to do the demonstration. You can see uh, where the wheels dig into that epoxy floor that I put down. There is a lot of uh, pressure on those back wheels as they're rolling, so just know that uh, if you have like a uh, garage fit for a queen, your floor is going to get screwed up, but at least you'll be able to work on your car so that's all I got to say about that. I think we'll, uh, let me bump this up a little bit faster, play a little bit music, and uh, we'll get to uh, moving it around the shop, which is uh, really, really handy. <laughs> All right, now let me show you how it moves. Uh, there's a little pick point on the front of the, uh, the pump, the hydraulic pump that runs everything. Everything's, you know, nicely put together. Um, the assembly of the bend pack is uh, fairly easy. If you can work on a car like the one that's in the background there, then uh, you can certainly figure out how to put this thing together in a matter of you know 45 minutes or so. Uh, I weigh 250 pounds. I'm six foot three, and yeah, it does take a bit of uh, downward force to get it um, 
off of that, uh, you know, when it first pick off the floor. But once you get it up in the air, it's really not that bad. You just got to stay on top of it, uh, kind of like you're trying to keep a wheelie from popping on your motorcycle, I reckon. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move this thing over to the corner, get it out of the way, give me some extra working space so we can get back down there on the caddy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Those same uh, metal wheels that gouge the uh, epoxy and also roll the back of the scissor um, act as your uh, main source of mobility. Then you got some metal wheels on the pump cart um, that allows you to make the move. Pretty cool tool. I recommend it if you got a, uh, a short uh, ceiling. Um, get you one of these. Yeah, don't drop it on the hydraulic hose. And that's pretty much how I leave it, just like that, until I need it. And then uh, I will, if I have a car that is mobile, I will uh, drive it over the top of it or slide it sideways um, on the uh, wheel dollies and get it into position. That's all I really have to say. I'll take any questions you got if you have any, but uh, I'm going to move this Cadillac into a good spot and uh, start to remove paint. All right, guys, uh, as always, thanks for uh, liking and subscribing. Peace and grease, sucker.